ओके भाई तो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी सेल बायोलॉजी ओके नो द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सेल व्हाट डज इट मीन इन अ लाइफ द बेसिक यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ इज द सेल इन ऑल लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म इफ यू जस्ट इमेजिन टीएमवी इज ए वायरस राइट है it does not perform all the vital activities of the life simply nucleoprotein material and only replicate in the living cell and is not called as a cell but whenever you want to say the cell in the human body the first cell of the human body that is your zygote okay zygote is not a complete individual this cell diploid cell divides ठीक है माइटोटिकली टू फॉर्म ए न्यू इंडिविजुअल ओके दिस इज द फर्स्ट सेल ऑफ ह्यूमन लाइफ माइटोटिकली डिवाइड एंड टू फॉर्म एम्रियो एंड देन ए न्यू इंडिविजुअल एंड दैट इंडिविजुअल परफॉर्म ऑल द वाइटर एक्टिविटीज ऑफ द लाइफ ओके सेल यूनिट ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर एंड फंक्शन You can't imagine any of the life, either of the plant or of the animal, without cell. The minimum requirement for a life is the cell. Okay. Now, the basic unit of the life, the cell in all living organism, the whole living world has many many types of the biodiversity in the world. But today we are going to see the living organism are basically divided into two. लाइफ एग्जिस्ट आइदर एज ए यूनिसेलर ऑर्गेनिज्म और एज ए मल्टी सेलर ऑर्गेनिज्म ठीक इफ आई राइट हियर सेल ओके एंड हियर इट इज आल्सो ए सेल एंड हियर इट इज आल्सो ए सेल ठीक है एंड इट इज ए लीवर सेल राइट एंड इट इज ए अमीबर्ड सेल ठीक है Now just see what is the difference between two. Liver is a cell of a particular organ, not an organism. It performs certain biochemical reactions, but it cannot sustain the life. ठीक? It is also unicellular. It has got a special structure and a special function to perform for some organ. But whenever you try to compare it with amoeba, then Another question arises. It is a simply a cell, but not an independent cell. But it is a complete life. Why we do call it as organic? Because it performs all the vital activities of the life. They have a structure. They have a reproduction. They have excretion and respiration. The vital activity are being performed by a single cell. That is why a single cell of the amoeba is an organism. But why a single cell of the liver organ is not an organ? Because it is not in position to perform the vital activities of the life. Okay. So now we come back to the position. The living organ. Think unicellular organism. Think how can we say vital organ? Because they have independent existence when i will think about the amoeba when i will think about the protozoan or the bacteria right all are unicellular and the whole world is now surrounded by the organism and they have that independent existence ठीक है unicell having an independent existence and performing all the essential activities of the life or the vital body only then they are called as unicellular organism okay you can see the example of protozoa living being bacteria living being. the maximum population in the world the unicellular is go to amoeba not but bacteria theek hai now let us come to the second category of the living organism and that is your multicellular organism okay here we have got a aggregation of the cell Simply, if you have aggregation of cell, you never say that it is an organism. Aggregation of cell is performing all the vital activity. Only then you say it as a multicellular organism. Okay. Now we have to see at what level we can have a multicellular organism. Now let us consider here the first stage of the multicellular organism. 
this is your cellular level of organism and that goes to porifera porifera are the organism having at a cellular level body organization and they perform all the vital activities of the life in a multicellular organism theek hai so the animal of the porifera are cellular level organization body okay the next come tissue level this is another advancement of the cell biology to just to aggregate the specific types of the cell structural and functional and origin performing same function only then you constitute as a tissue at tissue level you see the organization in the need area the first organism to have a tissue level that goes to your need area okay they are performing activity at the cellular level and they are performing at a tissue level tissues are able to perform tick ectoderm or major two germ layer there but whenever we talk about the organ level now here we had got the organization of cell into three part ecto and meso and your endoderm germ layers are there and they build up a special type of the organ and number of the organ constitute together as a living body from cellular to tissue and tissue to organ level then it is the organ level platyhelminthes it okay? is platyhelminthes just after platyhelminthes we have got as something the beginning of the true organ system level of the start from ascarminthes to mammal up to the man theek okay? hai we can say that the multicellular organism can have living vital activity either at cellular level or at a tissue level or at an organ level or as an organ system level so this is the simplest classification mentioned in your ncert book how to just introduce your cell related to cell because the basic unit of life the cell in all it we cannot imagine the life without cell and if you see in tmv they don't have cell theek hai but they can't perform all the vital activity okay why they have living property only inside the cell the moment they infect and they utilize the host machinery of the cell and only then they can replicate otherwise they are non living okay now another very important point is here the cell why do we call it as a structural and functional unit of life this is another point theek in the all the living body theek if you consider the liver cell it has got a structure if you have just a epithelial cell then it has got a structure if the cell is there then the structure is there and remember if a structure is there then function is also there if there is a change in the structure there is a change in the function so all the various types of the cell have a different types of the structure to perform different types of functions if you just try to see respiratory cell in the lung they perform the function of respiration while the cell in the liver cell they perform the function of digestive system so we can say that according to our definition of cell a structural and functional unit of life because each structure perform a particular type of a function now let us come to the some important the two most important in the history of the cell yes cytology or if we have a biochemical function also on it then we say it as a cell biology cytology is a science of see structure of cell and function of cell but whenever we think about cell structure and function and the various biochemical aspect also including metabolic activity then we say the word cell biology okay now the very very important part related to the brief history of the cell biology or cytology the two most important science this comes in our mind the first in is robert hook theek hai the very very important question for the first time cell was discovered in 1665 by robert hook when he simply observed a cork theek theek hai in that cork he observed the cell wall and these cell wall are dead because in a cork is dead so the he of the cell a box like made up of the cell wall that was the beginning of cellular component of the dead cell so we can have a question who was the first man to discover the dead cell the answer is robert hooke and such in 1665 and after that near about 9 year the another very important scientist antony muller 
as the new advanced type of microscope and the simple microscope is called by Leven Hawk and he was the first scientist to observe the living organ and what living organ was discovered they were in his slide yet protozoan in bacteria or yeast or blood cell or the human sperm so we can say that the beginning of the cell biology started from these two scientists robert hooke and antony von leven hawk okay we cannot live without a cell if the cell is there definitely it must also have a dna and that dna either it is present simply naked in case of the prokaryotic cell or whether it is being surrounded by the nuclear membrane so called nuclear and the cell having no true nucleus they are called as prokaryote and the cell having a true nucleus with a nuclear membrane they are called as eukaryotic cell thank you very much this is simply for you today